Expectations are always high for the UNI football team. This season is no exception, as the preseason polls list UNI number five in the nation. While the defense graduated many starters, the offense returns eight from a year ago, including the top two rushers, quarterback Aaron Bailey and running back Tyvis Smith, as well as four of the top five receivers from a year ago, led by Darius Fountain. One of those things where we can just kind of keep building on what we did last year. Um, the, the places that we have to fill can be filled um, with the players that we have and our offense really hasn't changed that much. Um, and us at the O-line, we've got some guys coming back, so we should be able to just keep building. Quarterback Aaron Bailey was named to the Stats Offensive Player of the Year watch list after passing for over 1,600 yards and running for another 1,300 as he scored 32 touchdowns combined his junior season. Defensively, senior lineman Carter Schult is on the National Defensive Player of the Year watch list as he tries to anchor down a defensive unit that returns only four starters from last season. Schultz set a UNI record with 23 tackles for a loss on the year, but did so with the help of a veteran secondary. This season, the secondary is the biggest question mark on the entire team. I'm the only one that's played a full game yet in our secondary, you know, so it's it's definitely a lot of new experience and uh, you know, leading that secondary, it's gonna, you know, it, we're out on the island out there. Wherever it is, you know, man coverage, if you if we mess up, you know, we lose. So, you know, if we do our job, we win. So I think that really uh, makes us want to work harder to make the defense a strong point, not not the offense. So, Motivated to be just as good as the offense, the defense will lean on the leadership from just a few upperclassmen and hope for a quick learning curve for the underclassmen and transfers. The young guys and the guys who've been in the program, they're, they're really bought in. You know, uh, a bunch of the seniors got together, came up with an agenda and an identity that we wanted this team to have. And guys have really responded to it and, you know, you're not going to know as many names, but I think you'll find some guys who are really going to shine. While five-time reigning national champion North Dakota State is the MVC preseason favorite, you and I is picked to finish second. Knowing how tough the process of putting together a memorable season is, this football team is focusing on achieving greatness, and to do so, they're thinking of greatness. Doing the right things off the field, doing the right things on the field, just doing things so we can get a national championship. That's our goal. <laughs> win it all. Win MVC, definitely. That's the first and foremost thing. Win this valley. Team goals are definitely high, but the team is only, only as good as we make it, so we got to make sure we're out there every day working hard and doing the right things on and off the field to get the job done. The Panthers kick off the season September 3rd at Iowa State with a 7 o'clock game under the lights.